check, charge, or cash? Cash, and, uh, lead out to tax demolition Tucson. 100%. Right on schedule. Made it right on Venice Boulevard. We're a mile and a half from you. Okay.
just crossed over the number one lane. 300 yards from you now. Get set. I am. Here we go. There's the call. Three minutes. Clear! Seconds left. Get back. Get back. Get back. Hey, Slick. You see that shit coming out of their ears? They can't fucking hear you. Cool it. I got it. with me. Million six. Forty cents on the dollar, six hundred forty thousand to you. Nine hundred fifty front money. Get you the rest two, three days. 
No hole on these. Malibu Equity and Investments. Roger Van Zandt. Owns banks in the Caymans. Runs investment portfolios for offshore drug money. Stuff like that. So? So? He ripped off his bearer bonds. Yeah, he's got insurance. That's the point. He collects 100% from the insurance. He's a player. Maybe he buys his bonds back from us for 60% of their value. Make 40% on top of the 100%. Sell it back to him instead of going to the street that's an extra 320,000 to you. Try it out. Kelso called. About uh, what? Score he's putting out, wants you to look at. What do I need his score for? I got my own. Says it's clean in low eight figures. 9 a.m. tomorrow. What happened out there? Don't ask. Find the ambulance? Dumped it. Four blocks from here. 20 Sacker Street between Figaro and Flower. They torched it, burn everything, the guns, clothes, everything. They were airborne. They take the last few seconds of the black and whites doing demolition derby. Stolen out of Fresno two weeks ago. The yellow pickup truck out of Whittier day before yesterday. He's taking this one, Lieutenant? Or does it stay in division? Look like gangbangers working the local 7 Eleven to you. Robbery homicides taking it. All yours. We got three motorists. All they saw were men with masks. They were distant. Console TV man over there, however, he was closer. The ID anybody? Well, he was hiding. He heard it mostly. Okay, what about them? All right, now according to TV man, this guy started mouthing off. Smart? Yeah, somebody called a guard slick. Slick. Yeah. Now this guy, I figured this guy went for that holdout piece, ankle holster, right here. Bang, 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 bang. The side. This guy here has got what appears to be a double tap entry wound to the sternum, tattooing around the head wound, scorched bone, close range, probably executed. And it was a million six in bearer bonds, and they ignored the loose cash. Because they had no time, because they were on a clock, which means they knew our response time to a 211, had our air, immobilized it, entered, escaped in under three minutes. It's a good spot here. We got good escape routes, two freeways within a quarter of a mile. Traffic video camera, probably disabled. Check it anyway. You recognize the MO? MO is that they're good. Once it escalated into a murder one B for all of them, after they killed the first two guards, they didn't hesitate. Pop guard number three, because what difference does it make? Why leave a living witness? Drop of a hat, these guys will rock and roll. The shape charge. The shape charge indicates that they are technically proficient. Proficient enough to go in on the prowl, so let's start looking for recent highline burglaries that have mystified us. Run Slick as an alias to the FBI. You're going to get the phone book. Do it anyway. Who's moving the bearer bonds? Check the usual fences. You and I will check. Cusimano and Torino, I want you to take Goldstein and Alfaro. Hang in with forensics. From the bomb squad, I want the explosive. If we're lucky, it's exotic. We can trace the sale. Get your hand out of that man's pocket, Rachel. Hello, Vincent. I want some pie. Gotta go to the job.
man. He was making a move. I had to get it on. God. Splits in the car. Took out of ours evenly. To make up for his full end. Because I want to pay off and get rid of this motherfucker right now. Where's the rest? We're late. Ooh, you look too good to go out. They'll just jump you right here. Where is it? Uh, square the bookies, baby. It's more in a couple days, so don't square it. Come on, we really are late. Yeah, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Honey, it ain't worth the risks you take for 8,000. Like in risk versus reward, baby. Let's go. Get your coat. There is no point talking to you, because all you are is a child growing older. What's this supposed to mean? It means we're not making forward progress like real grown-up adults live in our lives, because I'm married to a gambling junkie who won't listen. Charlene, get in the fucking car. What am I doing in this rat bastard situation? You're not! What do you want from me? Leave the bank book and the car keys in the kitchen on your way out the door. Now, are we going or are we going along? You could keep that other crap, but Dominic would go with me. Don't you think about it. Tell me Albert Torina called back. Albert Torina called Vincent? No. No. Report came in. The explosive was Diax, linear-shaped charge used in demolition. She can pick it up with a driver's license in Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico. Too common to trace a sale, Vincent. Oh, that's wonderful. Where you been? Where have you 
Look. Lauren's dad show up? Didn't call, didn't show. We waited for you till 10.30. Now, does this guy have any idea what's going on with this kid? I don't know. Fucking jerk. Oh, is she okay? She's been in her room all day. So no, she's not okay. Neither am I. Uh, I made dinner for us four hours ago. Um, every time I try to maintain a consistent mood between us, you withdraw. I got three dead bodies on a sidewalk off Venice Boulevard, Justine. I'm sorry if the goddamn chicken got overcooked. Pass the cream. Thanks. What'd you get? What? What are you reading? Book about medals. Stress fractures and titanium. What kind of work you do? Lady, why are you so interested in what I read or what I do? I've seen you in this store from time to time. What store? Missy and Ingalls, I went there. Uh, if you don't want to talk to me, it's okay. Sorry I bothered you. I didn't mean to be rude. I didn't recognize you. I work in metals. I'm a salesman. My name's Neil. I'm 80. You like working there? Sure. I get a discount. And there's a whole section of books in my area. What area is that? Graphic design. I do um, letterheads and logotypes at night and stores a day job till I get enough going. Who do you do that for? Uh, a restaurant. I did their their menus and um, a small uh, record label, and CDs. I've done two so far. You go to school for that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I went to Parsons. Oh, where's that? New York City. And how long have you been here? About a year. You like it? <laughs> Not really. I'm, I'm mostly here for the work. You live in this neighborhood? Or? Uh, no, I live, um, Kind of above Sunset Plaza. It's, it's actually kind of a, it's a little house that I rent. It's, it's kind of run down, but a beautiful, beautiful view. What about you? I live up here. It's <laughs> very <laughs> So where's your family from originally? Oh, uh, our Scots-Irish. They, um, uh, 
immigrated to Appalachia in the late 1700s. Where are you from? The Bay Area. Are your folks there? Well, my mother died a long time ago. My father, I don't know where he is. Got a brother somewhere. You have a tight family, I can tell. Yeah. Right? You're right. <clears throat> City of Lights. In Fiji, they have these iridescent algae that come out once a year in the water. That's what it looks like out there. You been there? No, I'm going there someday. Oh, yeah. You travel a lot? Yeah. I won't make you lonely. I'm alone. I am not lonely. You? Are you lonely? Coming in for man, you crazy? This ain't Disneyland. You were man. supposed to get back to me last night. Where the fuck you been? I couldn't break free, Vincent. You know. Let's violate his ass right now. I do for you. You don't do for me. Is that it? Vincent, man, I swear, I, I was out all night, man. I'm, I'm hitting like one of them flamingo matador What's guys, flamingo? man. That's got nothing to do with you me. Know, I was cutting it real smooth. I'm generating leads and shit for you. I'm a dancer, man. You, you know. know shit. I paged your ass all day. I can't stand fucking paging. Oh, man, I'm hey, the speed know. freak. Jack and methamphetamine again. Oh, man, wh wh where's your empathy, brother? It's a substance of Empathy problem. was yesterday. Today, you're wasting my motherfucking time. Vincent, man, look. you fall in love? Come on. Did you fall in love last night? You went off somewhere? Vincent. Just tell me that. I'll, I'll settle for it. You know what I mean? I'll buy that. V Vincent. Give me all you got! Vincent. Give me all you got! I swear, man, my brother, man, my brother. My brother Richard's gonna talk to you. Man. I heard Richard. He gonna talk to you. Richard? 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 He gonna meet you, man, I swear, tonight. He's not here, is he? No, he gonna meet you tonight. Tonight? What happened to right now? 
I I I employed him because I knew you was coming this a.m. That's a you bunch know. of bullshit. No, no, I swear he he said no, cause he in Phoenix. Ah, by the time this, I get this, to man, Phoenix, I swear, I swear, man, tonight's the best be I can do for you. He'll probably leave a note right on the door. Tonight's the best I can do for you, man. You know, he'll meet he'll meet you at BJ's on Alvarado at two a.m. Be there. Yeah. You be there too. <laughs> Vince, I can't be there, man. I, I got things to do, Vince. I got things to do. I got I got places to be. I got to be. be there. Don't waste my motherfucking time! What is it? It's a bank. It depots cash on Thursday for distribution to all the other branches yeah. to cover Friday payroll checks. So on Thursdays, the command branch has got a full whack. On the prowler, strong. Strong, through the front door. How many guys? Uh, four or three plus a driver. You walk in, you knock them over, you walk out. And you want 100,000 advance against a 10% cut for that? Uh-huh. Sounds like an address to a cowboy score. They hit the hold-up alarms. I got to get out of there before the cops show. What is that? They hit three hold-up alarm systems. Two telco and a cellular. See, but the signals aren't going anywhere because, see, the night before, you cut in and trick out the alarm system computer to turn itself and the video recorders off 20 minutes before you walk in the door. Architectural, electrical, engineering plans. I got all. I got schematics. I got the boards already built that go straight into the CPU. What's the estimate? 12.1, 12.2 million. You're on. Congratulations. And to give you a little idea of where my estimates come from, this is a printout. Nobody knew the merch was yours. Be that as it may, my way you get 100% from the insurance company and take the bonds back from us at 60 cents on the dollar and make yourself another 40%. The operation doesn't skip a beat, everybody makes out. Sure, you got a deal. Good, because there's no percentage everyone gets their underwear in a twist over this. Yeah. So you have your man call me and we'll set to meet. Yeah, okay. Nice talking to you. You gonna deal with these guys? So word's on the street, it's okay to steal my stuff. I'm gonna kill this sons of bitches. Have Harry bring me the spreadsheets for Canary Islands offshore. As I was saying, that's not really an estimate. Those are exact figures. I had a print on here of the uh, cash flow of the bank for the past two months. How do you get this information? It just comes to you. This stuff just flies through the air. They send this information out. I mean, it's just beamed out all over the fucking place. You don't have to just know how to grab it. See, I know how to grab it. Um, OK, here we go. 13.9 million. I bought it. Good. What'd I tell you? Yeah. We're on. Call Van Zandt, collect the money. How is he? He's a businessman. This is at my place. What's wrong? Husband and wife stuff. I'll let him sleep it off here. Furniture. I'm gonna get around to it. Uh, 
Nothing's gonna leave me. Why? None of the steaks in the freezer. With everything we've been doing? Vegas is Super Bowl, clean me out. When you gonna get an old lady? I'll get around to it. You got something else on the side? Nothing regular. She got something else on the side? No. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I don't know what you're doing. Remember Jimmy McElwain on the yard used to say, you want to be making moves on the street, have no attachments, allow nothing to be in your life that you cannot walk out on in 30 seconds flat if you spot the heat around the corner. Remember that? For me, the sun rises and sets with her, man. Yeah. Okay. Today we take delivery of cash from Van Zandt, then I drop a deposit on Kelso for this bank. Bank? What bank? What about the platinum thing that's ready to fall? That goes to then the bank. Want some breakfast? Okay. Yeah, it's sugar. Yeah. For real. Okay. Gonna do good. I'll see you later. I'm down Bree. Grierson, my parole officer, told me to come by here and said you had a job for me. So you're familiar with this kind of operation, huh? Yeah, man, I'm a great grill man. Good, good for you. Here, you'll mop out the toilets, hit the dishwasher, fuss tables, and empty the garbage too. Give me a hard time, I'll report you loaded, drunk, or stealing, and I will violate you back so fast you have a spin. 25% of your take home kicks back to me. Rules of the game. Paul Grierson, check it out. Change in the back. Well, what are you waiting for? Malibu Equity and Investments. Yeah, Roger Van Zandt. This is Roger Benson. I'm supposed to collect something? Give me your number and somebody will call you right back from a different line. 818-133-6089. Podríamos aplicar esta cantidad, es suficiente. Sí, sí. En cuanto a la propiedad esté lista para ser tasada, deberíamos discutir los porcentajes. Package for you. There's a drive in on Sentinella, 2:30 tomorrow. Okay, just send one man along. He's nobody, Neil. Listen, you're... He's a legit liquor wholesale sailor from Las Vegas. Alan Marciano. Chris is going to straighten it up with you. It's too late. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Shut up! Here's the deal. You will give Chris one last shot. After that, he fucks up. Then I will finance setting you up myself. On my own. Any way you want. 
Dominic will go with you. And my word counts. But right now, you will give him the chance. Clean up, go home. Clean up, go home. All your money. So one day you're gonna get smoked with that shit. Oh, ain't gonna be you, fool. Coming in alone, sending through. Okay, yeah, got it. Richard, Richard, Richard. Uh, so what do you got for me? Before we even get into that, there's this cool ripping rides all along the beach areas. All right? Now the back of a trim shop on Irvine, if somebody wants to pay a little visit this weekend, they might find two turbos and a 911 slow. You're looking to rid yourself of your competition. Hey, I'm a good citizen. I'm Donald Duck. So you got something to tell me or what? Check this out, cuz. How do I know if I tell you what you need to know, you're gonna do what the fuck I need to get done? Richard, man, Hannah's straight up, man. We do business all the time. I ain't your cuz, you rap motherfucker. And you know, cuz I say so. After I hear, what the fuck you gotta tell me? Look here, man. You understand what I'm saying? I get killed for telling you this shit. Kill walking your doggy. All right. This cat I was locked up with the post. Did a couple, two, three years. He got out. I ran into him. And so, he's a big fiend for action. Now, if he'd have said nothing, I'd have thought nothing. But he goes on and on, running down to me how he ain't been doing nothing and nothing's been going on and all this other bullshit. So right then and there, I know. This cat's got something going down. Pretty fucking great. Albert, what's wrong with you? You drag me here, waste my time like this. You saw a guy on the street who's an ex-con. That's right. Well, I am over fucking well. What do you want for that, a junior G-man badge? Look here, man, you gonna make the call on them portions or what? Is you kidding me? Hey, Vince, I'm telling you, man, this slick is no motherfucking joke, man. You know what I'm saying? Say what, say that. what? What? You said slick, what does that mean? Slick, that's what he calls people, slick. And tell me about him. About six feet tall, a lot of jailhouse tats. Got a big ass peacock right here. What's his name? Chirito. Michael Chirito. 33 busts since 1976. 11 for armed robbery, three convictions, two out of a three to five year beef in Attica, three years in Marion, five years in Folsom, off a knockback to involuntary manslaughter. Jacket's two inches thick. Okay, who do I have there now? Drucker and me, boss, and Schwartz. Tell SIS I want full surveillance. That's 24 hours, round the clock, day and night. We never close open seven days a week. 
about the car, the house, the work. When he moves or sits, like in a restaurant, I want pictures of who he moves and sits with. Then you guys run makes on them. They got jackets. I want to see who they move and they sit with. I want it up and running by tomorrow night. Put your hands where I can see him. What? Put your hands where I can see him. All right. I tell you what to do, I tell you how to do it. Now with your right hand only, your right hand only, take the package and throw it in here. Yeah, Roger Van Zandt. Yeah, who's this? You know what this is. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I sent a guy to deliver the package. He didn't call. Is everything right? Tell you what. Forget the money. What? Forget the money. It's a lot of money. What are you doing? What do you mean, forget the money? What am I doing? I'm talking to an empty telephone. I don't understand. Because there was a dead man on the other end of this fucking line.
Hi, right, it's me. Hey, I was wondering if you'd go. I've been busy. Can I see you? I was afraid that was just the one night, you know? No, not for me, it wasn't. Yeah, me neither. Can I fall by? Yeah. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Cerritos cruised the precious metals depository three times. Platinum, silver, and some bullion. Sammy and I think that's going to be their next score. Who's the loner? First time we're seeing him. We're not on him yet. I'll get on it. When these guys walk out the door of whatever score they're gonna take next, they're gonna have the surprise of a lifetime. Hey baby, time to go. Showed you good time, didn't I? Oh, yeah. You fly. You cool. You lying to me. I can always tell when people lie to me. Mm, I ain't lying. You a hot dog. A regular rodeo rider. And this was the monster fuck of my young life. <laughs> now I got to get my ass street side, sugar. You don't have a truth-telling style. What are you talking about? You don't know what this is. Grim Reaper's visiting with you. Take his fingers, right, and fold them over one over the other, and then he turn his eyelids inside out. And Ooh, front foot, right. Hands off me, man. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. What feels so wonderful about you in that this sort of way? Woman. <laughs>
So she tells She's her, she tells uh, Raul. Oh, Raul. Raul. To Raul. Yeah, I've been to the ham. Here's how we found her. How old? 16, 17. Been here about six hours. How'd she die, Rachel? Beat her head in, same as the other, cerebral hematoma. Who's that? Mother and siblings, I guess. What the hell are they doing here? Because it's fucked up. Somebody inside knew the girl and called the family. DNA check on the semen, my intuition says it's coming up the same guy, so it's a series and ending up in your court. Sheriff's homicide getting anywhere there? Not yet. Get off me, get off of me. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, oh. 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 Why did she... I guess the earth shattered. So why didn't you let Bosco take you home? I didn't want to ruin their night, too. What was it? You don't want to know. I'd like to know what's behind that grim look on your face. Oh, I don't do that. You know it. Let's go. Come on. You never told me I'd be excluded. I told you when we hooked up, baby, that you were going to have to share me with all the bad people and all the ugly events on this planet. And I bought into that sharing because I love you. I love you fat, bald, money, no money, driving a bus. I don't care. But you have got to be present like a normal guy some of the time. That's sharing. This is not sharing. This is leftovers. Oh, I see. What I should do is uh, come home and say, hi, honey. Guess what? I walked into this house today where this junky asshole just fried his baby in a microwave because it was crying too loud. So let me share that with you. Come on, let's share that. And in sharing it, we'll somehow uh, cathartically dispel all that heinous shit, right? Wrong. You know why? Because you prefer the normal routine. We fuck, then you lose the power of speech. Because I got a hold on to my angst. I preserve it because I need it. It keeps me sharp on the edge where I got to be. You don't live with me. You live among the remains of dead people. You read the terrain. You search for signs of passing, for the scent of your prey, and then you hunt them down. That's the only thing you're committed to. 
The rest is the mess you leave as you pass through. What I don't understand is why I can't cut loose of you. what that motherfucker does every day. Baby, can you just handle it till we find you something new? Can you do that? Ain't a hard time been invented that I cannot handle. What you hanging with me for, Lily? Because I'm proud of you. proud of me. Mm -hmm. What the hell are you proud of me for? Come on home. What are we doing there? I was skiing. I was trying to ski. That's what people do there. You go skiing and you um, you meet people and you try to have a good time. Did you have a good time? No. Why not? I'm not good at meeting people. You met me. Well, that happened without my thinking about it. Which is why, probably. No, it's because you were fine. Edie. Take off with me for a while. Where? New Zealand. <laughs> when? I have to go separate. You could meet me there. But my job. My... I got money. You don't need money. You could set up a studio to work there. I don't know. What's there to know? Are you married? What? You come and go. The last thing I am is married. I'm a needle starting at zero, going the other way, a double blank. And all of a sudden, someone like you comes along. You don't know me, Neil. I know enough. What happened? You forget your mom was picking you up? No. So what's going on? Felt like being alone. Okay. Come on, I drive you home. Hey, Mike.
what's happening. Lieutenant, sir, Captain Jackson wants to know what's going on. Nothing's going on. Stay off the air. Sesame. Walk. I'm right there. We can walk now. Until my boss says so, Vincent. Both of them are not carrying anything. Okay, let him go. What do you mean? We can take him on. What? On what? What are you going to take him on? Breaking an entry? They didn't steal anything yet. Don't you get it? It gets knocked back to some chicken shit misdemeanor. They do six months and they're out. No fucking way. I'm not taking the heat from my bosses because you let them go. They're not walking. That's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to walk. This is my operation. I have tactical command that supersedes your rank. They will walk away and you will let them. Fuck.
back to work. LAPD. Gee, what? Where the fuck did this heat come from? Maybe it's the score they're on to. The place, not us. Because it's been hit a couple of times, you know, something. Assume they got our phones, assume they got our houses, assume they got us. Right here, right now, as we sit, everything. Assume it all. Now we're going to buy the bank package from Kelso. I'll front that. That's not a problem. Well, what the hell happens to Van Zandt on 750? Van Zandt, listen, with the heat we got, you want to play World War II in the streets with Van Zandt? No, I want my 750, and when he gets a pass... I got more motivation to whack Van Zandt than either of you. He is a fucking luxury. Our problem is take the bank or split right now. Do not go home, do not pack, nothing. 30 seconds flat from now, we are gone on our separate ways. That's it. Chris. The bank is worth the risk. I need it, brother. You should stay and take it down. That's where I come out. I roll with you, Neil. Whatever. Whatever. No, not on this one, Michael. On this one, you're on your own. I'm going away after, so for me, the reward is maybe worth the stretch. But Elaine takes good care of you, you got plenty put away, you got T-bonds, real estate. If I were you, I would be smart. I would cut loose of this. is the juice. I'm in. Go. Yeah, sure. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Fuck them. Let's do it. All right, let's go. We got a lot of work. Are you Alan Marciano? Yeah, and who the fuck are you? Ow, am I? Hey! hey. Lieutenant hey. Vincent Hanna, LAPD. LA, this is Las Vegas. You don't even have jurisdiction here. Hey! Hey, hey, hey. I don't know who the fuck you guys think you're pushing around, but I know people here, okay? Las Vegas PD takes you into custody. You are extradited to Newark on a New Jersey warrant for smuggling cigarettes up from North Carolina three years ago, or you go to work for us. Cut and dry. That is it. Oh, shit. Charlene Shaherless. Who? 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 Were you a fucking owl? The lady you've been talking dirty to on telephone every day last week. Yeah, all right. You know what? You can't tie me to her. Yeah, well, who needs to? Because your ass is on a plane back to New Jersey, jag off. Oh, man. I, I just... Why'd I get mixed up with that bitch? Because she got a great ass! And you got your head all the way up it. Jesus. When I think of asses, woman's ass, something comes out of me. So? So? No big thing. All I want is her husband and his whole fucking crew. Now, you're going to work with Sergeant Trucker here. San Clemente Road and Hermosa. Uh -huh. That's where we cut through the fence. That's the access. Right. The security systems around here are a joke. St. Vincent Thomas Bridge, that's escape route number one. Number two, over here. Anaheim to the 110. Good. OK? Yeah, it's done. Got it? Good, let's go.
They were looking back in this direction. A container facility for cottage theft? Too visible. Too low ball for them. Next door is an oil refinery. Over there is a scrapyard. The refinery only pays by check. No cash around. Same for the scrapyard. Maybe they're stealing hubcaps. A refinery in a scrapyard. What the hell is going on? Well, that's what we're trying to figure out. We thought we had it. Thought we had it. Got an idea of what they're looking at. You want to know what they're looking at? What? I mean, is this guy something or is he something? This crew is good. You know what they're looking at? What? Us. The LAPD. Police department. You just got me. Yeah. Okay. Okay, motherfucker! Kelso come through. Yeah, you can build a bank with these. Hannah. First name Vincent. I smith the sergeant advice five yards. Hannah's all over you. Done all the work cars. Michael's house. She hear this? Not yours. They've been losing you at night. And there's a hot dog. Graduate school. Marine Corps. Lieutenant robbery homicide. Major crime unit. He's taken down some heavy crews. Blew away Frankie Yonder in Chicago. And he was a fucking maniac. He was working narcotics before that. That's a problem with the boys twice. Current wife's Justine. He's why the extra heat. The vice sergeant says Hannah likes you. Thinks you're some kind of star. You do this shot, you do that shot. Look how sharp this guy is to figure that. Funny as a heart attack, man. Three marriages. What the fuck do you think that means? He likes staying home? I means the man is one of those guys out there. Prowling around all night, dedicated. With this guy, this much heat you should pass. It's worth the stretch. This guy can hit and miss. You can't miss once. You sure? I am sure. Justine! Justine! Where are we going? Okay, where are you going?
100 uh, yards or what? Am I close or far or what? 300 yards, center lane. How you doing? What do you say I buy you a cup of coffee? Yeah, sure, let's go. Follow me. Seven years in Folsom, in the hole for three. McNeil before that. McNeil is tough as they say. You looking to become a penologist? You looking to go back? You know, I chase down some crews, guys just looking to fuck up, get busted back. That you? You must have worked some dipshit crews. I worked all kinds. You see me doing throat seeker liquor store holdups with a born to lose tattoo on my chest? No, I do not. Right. I am never going back. Then don't take down scores. I do what I do best. I take scores. You do what you do best, trying to stop guys like me. So you never wanted a regular type life? What the fuck is that? Barbecues and ball games? Yeah. This regular type life, that your life? My life? No, my life. No, my life's a disaster zone. I got a stepdaughter so fucked up because her real father's this large type asshole. I got a wife. We're passing each other on the downslope of a marriage, my third. 
Because I spend all my time chasing guys like you around the block. That's my life. Guy told me one time, don't let yourself get attached to anything. You are not willing to walk out on in 30 seconds flat if you feel the heat around the corner. Now, if you're around me and you got to move when I move, how do you expect to keep a, a marriage? Well, that's an interesting point. What are you, a monk? I have a woman. What do you tell her? I tell her I'm a salesman. So then, if you spot me coming around that corner, you're just gonna walk out on this woman? Not say goodbye? That's the discipline. That's pretty vacant, you know? Yeah, it is what it is. It's that or we both better go do something else, pal. I don't know how to do anything else. Neither do I. I don't much want to either. Neither do I. You know, I have this uh, recurring dream. I'm sitting at this big banquet table, and all the victims of all the murders I ever worked are sitting at this table, and they're staring at me with these black eyeballs because they got eight ball hemorrhages from the head wounds. And there they are, these big balloon people, because I found them two weeks after they'd been under the bed. The neighbors reported the smell. And there they are, all of them just sitting there. What do they say? Nothing. No talk? Uh, just, they don't have anything to say. See, we just look at each other. They look at me, and that's it. That's the dream. I have one where I'm drowning, and I got to wake myself up and stop breathing or I'll die in my sleep. You know what that's about? Yeah, having enough time. Enough time to do what you want to do? That's right. You're doing it now. Not, not yet. You know, we're sitting here, you and I are like a couple of regular fellas. You do what you do, I do what I gotta do. And now that we've been face to face, if I'm there and I gotta put you away, I won't like it. But I'll tell you, if it's between you and some poor bastard whose wife you're gonna turn into a widow, brother, you are going down. There's a flip side to that coin. What if you do got me boxed in? And I got to put you down. Because no matter what, you will not get in my way. We've been face to face, yeah. But I will not hesitate. Not for a second. Maybe that's the way it'll be. Or who knows? Well, maybe we'll never see each other again. They dumped us. What? They dumped us. What do you mean, they dumped us? Chris slipped his tail. He doesn't talk about their scores with Charlene, so there's nothing for me to get from Marciano. I just tried. 
What about Cerrito? Same. Transponders got put on a bus to San Clemente. They dumped all our surveillance. Yeah. At the same time, 9 p.m. I had coffee with Macaulay half an hour ago. We were on you. Then Macaulay drives into LAX where surveillance can't fly over because of flight paths. His car's still there. He's gone. Does anybody have any idea where the fuck these people are? from him yet? Not a thing. And not hearing bothers me more. Where's this guy? This guy here. We put him on. He says he knows Macaulay. Who are you? Wayne Grow. My name's Wayne Grow. I've been living in this office day and night. How well do you know him? Oh, we took some major scores together. How come I haven't heard from him? Well, he's probably busy right now. But he's real thorough. He ain't gonna forget about you. Oh, that's reassuring. Well, I got some moves I can make here. Probably be a big help to you. The grill man. Yeah. Awesome. Deep line. How's with Dolby Rush? They got my break yet, man. Cisco and Poncho didn't show. Pull out the garbage. Knock out the back. Take your break later. Piece of shit. Pick up! Where the hell is he? I want to check the slot for the work car. So did I. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah. Hey, use the landline. Call me at 1037 206. All right. all over me, man. They're on me like a cheap suit. I can't dump them. They have to the fact you spotted them. No, no, they're doing parallels. I can try to dump them again. How are we going to know if you did? If you didn't, you'll throw them to us. If a Ventura, pull them out of here. All right. Hey, I'm sorry, man. Last thing I want to do is let you down. Hey, Neil, man, what up? What's up, brother? What, what you doing here? 
What I am doing is I'm looking for a driver who can handle the scanners and a radio right now, today. You remember the drill? Yeah, man, sure. Is it cool? Oh, man, now you know I'm cool. One answer, yes or no, right now. money not your money your money is insured by the federal government you're not going to lose a dime think of your families don't risk your life don't try and be a hero right now i want you to sit on the floor and put your hands on your head anybody feel sick anybody got heart trouble go ahead and lean against the wall give me the key get out and stay out sit there sit there don't move let it bleed Hugh Benny called in about a bank they're looking at or something. Ransom! 
Far East National Bank 1130. Block at Figueroa and Fifth, and I want to block Northbound Flower at Sixth. Okay, we're gonna have to take them in the car. Wait till they are all in. Get clean shots, watch your background. Police, move!
Tragedy in a Southland neighborhood today. A bank robbery spilled out into the street. Claudia Newman, live on the scene. She has the latest. Claudia? This afternoon, this neighborhood was terrorized by a bank holdup gone wrong. With the streets full of midday shoppers and kids, police and armed robbers... Excuse me, uh, bartender. I'm going to go One suspect, Michael Torito, is one of four men involved in the foil bank robbery. We can't get you, Mitch. Also badly wounded, another suspect, Donald Griffith. Yes. Multiple gunshot wounds during the extensive gunfire between police and suspects. <laughs> oh, I told him. Told him. <laughs> all right. It's all right. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> He's got blood loss and shock. I'm gonna give you quarter grain vials of morphine for the pain, okay? Subcutaneous injection. Bottom line. It's mostly tissue damage, which is good. But his uh, clavicle's fractured. Can you rest for a while? Six, seven hours. That's it? That's it. Take off your shirt. What? Take off your shirt. My daughter gave it to me. So far, I don't give a shit who gave it to you. Take it off. Chris. Hey. Chris. Listen to me. Mm -hmm. Nate's gonna pick you up. He's gonna take you to his place. Where's Charlene? We gotta get out of here. We're all over the six o'clock news. I'm we gotta get out of here. I'm not going without her. Think about that. I will meet you at Nate's. Where are you going? I gotta find out if our route got spilled along with every other damn thing. Who did it? Who wasn't there? Treo. 
I'll see you at Nate's. Why'd you do it? What happened? They made me. Who? Where's Anna? She's dead. <laughs> so is Michael and Bree, the guy who stood in for you. Who did it? Who did it? They had Anna, man. Who had her? Wayne Grove. Wayne Grove. On his own? Say anything about how we're getting out? I don't think so, man. Come on. I don't remember the end. I'll call a medic. I'm not gonna make it. I can't feel nothing. My hand is gone. Cellular is a hard line. It's a no one. The guy lives on Hillside Terrace, Encino. 10725. 10725. Okay. Chris. This is me, my place. Next, Wayne Grove, okay? You got the time. I'll make time. And I need a new outlay now. How do you know it's blown? How can I trust it? Okay, you got him. Stay healthy. Charlene Sherry. Rucker's got a safe house in Venice to stash her in. Our meal's transportation. When we're done here, get on the phones. Somewhere someone's trying to put it together for her. You don't believe Macaulay already had to get away late on? Sure he did. Now he needs another one. Would you trust yours after this afternoon? This rat motherfucker, where do we get him? He's a CI for a burglary cop. Called in to tip on the bank. On Neil McCauley. How much time we got? Eight, ten hours for him to set up a new house. After that, he's gone. Bye bye. Bam!
You ratted McCully to us. How'd you know? Who told you? Who told you, you rat motherfucker? Who? Wayne where is he? Where is he? How the hell would I know? out from under, right? You're scared to death, right? You want out, this is out, Charlene. Yeah, what's your end? I hate you, stupid broad. Hey, 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 easy. Huh? You heard me. She had a rough ride. She fix her a drink or something. Look in the cabinet above her say. Fuck her. You better get in oh, there and right. stay in there. My name is Sergeant Drucker, LAPD Homicide. You want to put Dominic in the bedroom? He stays with me. So what now? Well, he's right. Because you want out, this is out. You believe you have to betray Chris? No shit. That's right. You would have to. See, if you don't betray Chris, you victimize Dominic. Because he becomes an orphan when you go to prison as an accessory because you got no living parents to take it. So he ends up state-raised in foster homes, juvenile facilities. Then he steals a car. Then he winds up in gladiator academies like Chino and Tracy. Fucked for life. You know what happens, because you've been there. Dominic didn't get a chance yet to choose his life, but Chris did. If you give up, Chris, you get off clean. You can do it for your kid so you can raise it. What else are you selling? All kinds of shit. But I don't have to sell this, and you know it, because this kind of shit here sells itself. OK, Danny, here's an update. Hey, Schwartz, truck is on line two. Lieutenant, hold on for a second. Lieutenant, I have Sergeant Trucker on the other line. Oh, conference him in. Go ahead. Vincent, it's me. One answer, what's it going to be? We're set here. She'll make the call. OK, that's good. Uh, here's the deal here. You, Benny, has reformed his wayward life and become a born-again good citizen. Apparently, Neil got sold out to us by this cowboy named Wengro. Wengro used to be a part of Neil's crew. Then he went to work for a money launderer named Van Zandt. Units are at Van Zandt's house as we speak because he got shot dead earlier tonight. Now, 
If Neil goes after anybody else, it's going to be Wangro. Mm -hmm. Wangro just got himself a suite at the airport marquee under the name Jameson. He's there now. I want you to get that to bail bondsmen, bookies, assignment offices, and snitches in county. Anyone you can think of will put it on the street. Deploy a team down at the hotel and personally check their comms every 30 minutes because maybe Neil will go for them. Okay? How you feeling? Banged up, but I'll live. Okay. He's here. Neil is still here. Okay, you fly out after. Now it's Jan. So we gotta go together. Those, those other people were with you. My friend Michael. He knew the risk. He didn't have to be there. Range, you get wet. Get back. Let's go. Billy! address level D slot 18. Here's some cash. When's it over? 22 hours from now. Then we get out of here clean. When will you let me leave? Go now. You want out? There's the door. Will you let me leave later? It will be different. Do you understand? It's ready. Vincent. This is my friend, Ralph. You didn't tell me you were... Oh, my God. Where's Lori? She's at Lisa Beth's. Look, this has nothing to do with me. I didn't know. I'm terribly sorry. What are you sorry about? Sit down. Don't you even get angry? I'm angry. I'm very angry, Ralph. You know, you can bar my wife if she wants you to. You can lounge around here on her sofa, in her ex-husband's dead tech postmodernistic bullshit house if you want to. But you do not get to watch my fucking television set. Put the television set down. I never cheated on you, you bitch. Well, maybe you should have. You should have? For the way you're part of it is. Oh, yeah, I made Ralph fuck you because it makes me feel good. Our situation's absurd. 
Uh, look, maybe hey, I should... Shut up! Well, shut up! Well, why is it that I have to figure things out and explain them to you? What do you do? I say what I mean, and I do what I say. Mm, how admirable. You bet. Except none of it's about us. No. I may be stoned on grass and Prozac, but you've been walking through our life dead. And now I have to demean myself with Ralph just to get closure with you. Passports, driver's checks, plastic. The plane, charter terminal, LAX. Hang a 17. Call it as a 1011 Sierra. <laughs> Pushes down. Holds for you. Five minutes, then splits. The plane will stand an FAA check. Find a flight plan that works. And where's Chris? He's gone. What? Said he's going on his own. Went to look for Charlene. Didn't you bring him here? Yeah, I brought him here. What happened? It's a free country, brother. Check in with me, nine. Everything's still cool. luck. You want to walk? You walk right now. Or on your own. On your own, you choose to come with me. But all I know is... All I know is... There's no point in me going anywhere anymore. I'm just gonna be alone. Without you. Maybe. Come on, sugar, show yourself. Yeah, do it. Shut up! Now, just one second at the window, and it's all over.
Grosso and Del Avenue. Two, this is command. Take him at the street and check him out. Yeah, this guy's John Peterson. Valid ID, car's registered to the last name Bukowski, first name Jean, ran it to DMV, it's clean. Let him go. Roger. Thank you very much, have a good evening. It's a no-go, Vince. Would you like a cup of coffee while we wait, Mrs. Chihurlis? Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, what do you got? Nothing's happening. Yeah. Hello, it's Vincent. What do you got? Nothing's going on. Wango went for ice. That's it. You know what? Neil is gone. Bam! Flying like a bird. Come on, Vincent, how do you know? We still got bait. Maybe some got, time. Got, got, what do we got? What do we got? Bon voyage, motherfucker. You were good. I'm going to the hotel. I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna sleep for a month.
what a fucking waste. Okay. Assholes. Shoot themselves all fucking day. Not you, baby. Not you. What, 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 where would she be? I mean, her name is Lauren. Lauren Gustafson, and she's supposed to be here with, with the police. Please. Yeah. Your mom. Okay, your mom is here. Calm down. Yeah, is she I'm on calm. any drugs? No. All right, I want you to get a trauma surgeon down here and a vascular surgeon. I think she cut both arteries. Also, I can hardly feel her pulse. Her pressure's way down, so is her respiration. She's gonna have to innovate her. Ready. When's the last time anybody saw her? I don't know. Where did you find her? Bathtub. Call respiratory stat. Large bore normal saline, wide open. Let's keep pressure on those bleeders. I need two units O negative now. Let's type and cross her for six. Looks like she took some signs. Yeah, I got a second line. Where is respiratory? We need some more help. Can you have respiratory come down now? Let's have x ray ready for post incubation chest x ray. Hi. Your daughter's out of surgery and she's in the recovery room now. Okay. Her vital signs are stable. The surgeon will be out to speak to you in a few moments and let you know what's going on. She's okay. She's doing good. She's gonna be okay. She's gonna be okay. She's gonna be okay. It's all right. Why, baby? Why did right. you do this to herself? Why? Look what she did. Look what she did to herself. <laughs> it's all right. It's gonna be all right. I'm here. I ain't going anywhere. You understand? Yeah. It's me. Plane's in the air now. We run out of time. On the driver's end, I still can't find nobody, so that's in the trust. One other thing. You asked, so I gotta tell you. The guy you wanted checked into the hotel marquee under Jameson, if you still give a shit. Which I figured you wouldn't. You figured right. So, so long, brother. You take it easy. You're home free. Take it easy. What is it? Nothing. I'm free. right back. Leave a run.
Yeah, this is room service. Uh, Jameson ordered a BLT and they screwed up his room number. Could you give it to me, please? Yeah, I know. 1735. Thank you. Wingro's not moving. I'm staying here. I'm checking the stairs. There's smoke. I'm pulling you out. Your attention, please. What about her dad? You want me to call him? He's somewhere in the Sierras. She chose you. She picked your place. It's not right what happened to her. No, it's not. Is there any way that it could work out between us? I wish I could say yes, you know. But in the end, you know, it's like you said. Well, go on if you have to. Oh, I'll stay. No, I'm I'm okay. I can I can handle this. <sighs> Just be careful. Call me here. Let me know you're okay. Yeah. 
Security, there's a fire on three. We have to evacuate all the floors. I can't leave here. Look, why don't we just talk about this a bit, huh, brother? here on 17. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me.
told you I'm never going back. <laughs>